Good morning, everybody. It's good to be here. Uh, we want to welcome you to New Beginnings Church of the Big Ben. Feliz Domingo por la mañana. And uh, we just wanted to uh, say, uh, all those of you that joined us by audio and video, we want to welcome you again. Bienvenidos a los que nos escuchan por audio y video. Prepárense a recibir lo que el Señor tenga para usted. Amen. All I want to say is, God has something for you. You have to receive. And then, you allow the Word of God to change you. Amen. We don't want to be the same all the time, you know. We change from step to step, from glory to glory. Amen. So be changed. Let's uh, go ahead and uh, open our Bibles. Grab your Bibles. Soldier of God, warrior of God, grab your sword. And let's say it like you mean the church. Amen. Amen. This is my Bible. I am what it says I am. I have what it says I have. I can do what it says I can do. Today I'll be taught the word of God. I boldly confess. My mind is alert, my spirit is receptive, and I'll never be the same in Jesus' name. Just a quick reminder, Church Alive is worth the drive. Church Alive is worth the walk. Mm -hmm. Amen. So, all, all, just know that. Amen. And we are a Church Alive. Why? Because we teach from the Word of God. And the Word of God is alive. Praise God. We have a great message for you today so i just want you to be receptive and allow the word of god to come and change you you know this uh this little uh thing that we just uh, went over about this is my bible it's it it's as powerful just it starts off with this is my bible mm -hmm. do you have a bible do you own a bible make sure you have a bible for yourself and make sure you use the bible and open it amen don't let it stay Closed all the time. Anyway, our message today is going to be by Joy. J O Y. <laughs> How many of you remember the hillbillies? Granny always saying, I've got the joy, joy, joy down in my heart. Mm -hmm. We got to get that joy of God in us. Yeah. When you allow the Word of God to come in you, it's going to change you. Allow the Word of God to change you. Amen. Be encouraged and let that joy of God flow out of you. We're going to go over some scriptures you already know. But listen, an acronym, acronym for, for joy is this. Jesus owns you. Jesus owns you. So let's remember it says that this body has been bought. This is the body, the temple of the Holy Spirit. And it's been bought. So joy, remember, Jesus owns you. You belong to somebody. Don't say I'm not, I'm, I'm nobody. You are somebody. God created you. God made you. God put you here. And God has a calling on your life. Why is it so many Christians lose their joy? This is a question for you. If you're a Christian, if you're a believer, whatever you call yourself, why is it you lose your joy? Especially these days, there's so much doom and gloom. You turn the TV on, you turn the news on, and what is it? Nothing but negative, negative news, doom and gloom. Everybody is panicking. Well, if you're a child of God, you shouldn't even be going there. Because you have the good news of God in you. Get that word in you so that you can go out into this negative world, this doom and gloom world, and share, be the light, be, be, be the lively word of God as you come and minister to these people. Share the word with them. Don't just keep it in you. Says we, we're to share the word. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Start off. We start off our day. We start off our jobs. We start off our lives. We start off our Christian walk joyfully and then we lose it <laughs> remember we're supposed to on a daily basis have relationship with him so that we can renew our priorities mm -hmm. he's first every day we visit with him and allow him to lead us and guide us amen um, psalms 118 24 says what this is the day the lord has made i will rejoice depending on what translation we i will rejoice and be glad in it so you want to start with joy. If you don't continue to renew your mind to the things of God and you get involved in the world and you hear the news the world is putting out, the bad news the world is putting out, pretty soon you're going to be in doom and gloom just like the rest of them. But you got to renew your mind. He says, renew your mind with the word of God. Let that joy show come through you. People see that and they want that. What is it that keeps you so joyful when there's so much doom and gloom going on? God, Jesus. You share with them. They they want to know. Nehemiah eight ten says, and in the in the in the, uh, in the last part here, in the B part says, 
Though sorrow, for the joy of the Lord is your strength. Let the Lord, the joy of the Lord be your strength. I need some strength. Well, rejoice in Him. Amen. Be joyful in Him. Knowing whose you are and who you are in Him. When this happens, your whole um, day is going to be brightened. Mm -hmm. Your whole perspective is going to be driving, driven, I mean, uh, brightened. Mm -hmm. Amen. This is, this is good. So Nehemiah 8.10 says, For the joy of the Lord is your strength. Well, I need more strength. Well, you need to spend more time with Him. Mm -hmm. Allow Him to touch you. Allow Him to change you. Allow the Word of God to change you. Come on now. So full with love, so full with joy, so full with zeal, enthusiasm, passion, eagerness. When we first come to Christ, everything is joyful and great. But as time goes by, we seem to spring a leak. So now we have some leaky Christians. <laughs> we allow ourselves to leak out. Or we allow ourselves to not set our priorities right. And we start feeding on other things, distractions, be before we even spend time with Him. Yeah. And we become, you know what a leaky Christian is? Mm -hmm. A leaky Christian is speaking negative. Yeah. Speaking negative. Speaking death, doom, and gloom. And confessing what the word of God, what, what what the world is confessing instead of confessing what the word of God says. Mm -hmm. That's a leaky Christian. When you start leaking bad information, mm -hmm. sad information, mm -hmm. the enemy is listening. Yeah. Remember, he's full time devil. We need to be full time Christians. If we only do it half time, we ain't no match to the devil. That's right. We're allowing ourselves to leak out. We're allowing ourselves to open the door for him to come in. Mm -hmm. We got we have to stop there. Come on, you can say amen. amen. <laughs> Priorities change. We invite the world in. Well, guess who's coming in with the world? Mm -hmm. The enemy. He's yeah. the God of this world. Yeah. He's going he's gonna to come in. Words and actions change. Psalms 118, excuse me, 18, 20, 21 says what? Death and life are in the power of the, the word, the tongue. But that's your words also. Let me see what I wrote here. Life and death are in the power of the words you speak. Are you speaking good or bad? Are you being positive or negative? Leaky Christians speak the bad. Mm -hmm. Speak the sad things. Yeah. And guess what? Pretty soon you're sad and things are changing and things are bad things are happening because you're leaking out bad information. Yeah. You're leaking out bad seeds. And you're reaping what you sowed. Uh -huh. this, this is coming back to you, to your garden. Too many Christians who are just struggling through life. Mm -hmm. Too many Christians that are struggling through life. Born again Christians living a defeated life. Are you a Christian? Yeah. Well, you don't look like it and you don't act like it. And <laughs> you don't sure don't look like it. Just by your words and your actions. Yeah. Psalms 118, 21. No, I said Psalms 18, 21. 18. I started to say 118. It's actually Proverbs 18, 21. It's, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thank you for it's correction. It's Proverbs 18, 21. Uh -huh. All right. Let's get that right. Proverbs 18, 21. And that says, death and life are in the power of the tongue. Right. Amen. Woo. Come on. So too many Christians live in a defeated life. Uh -huh. On our way to heaven, sadly, instead of joyfully. Right. <laughs> Right. <laughs> on our way to heaven singing victory in Jesus that's what we need to be doing but we're not <laughs> <laughs> joyfully or sadly the thing about it is is your choice uh -huh. what are you leaking out what are you le leaking out is it good or is it positive mm -hmm. or is it negative mm -hmm. on our way to heaven joyfully shouting singing victory in Jesus on a daily basis yes. you know when David saw Goliath <laughs> He didn't, he didn't, he didn't, uh, uh, he wasn't afraid. That's right. Didn't change his way of, uh, of, of seeing uh -huh. what God wanted him to do. Didn't change his priorities. God first. And I'm going to walk over you. Uh -huh. I'm going to, as a matter of fact, I'm going to kill you and walk uh -huh. over you. <laughs> uh -huh. So what giants are facing you today? What giants are <clears throat> causing you to be sad? It's time for you to put on that joy, that strength God has given you. The joy of the Lord is your strength. Yes. Also, 
speak the right things, words and actions. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hallelujah. So we're on our way to heaven singing victory. Mm -hmm. God wants you to enjoy life. Yes, he don't want you to just live a sad life. He wants right. you to enjoy life. Paul was in prison most of his life. Mm. Still wrote two-thirds of the New Testament. Yeah. It didn't sound like he was sad. No. Doing whatever situation, circumstances, whatever situations you're facing, whatever giants you're facing, you don't have to be sad about it. Mm. Lord, I'm trusting you. Mm. You know, your body don't feel well. <laughs> By Jesus Christ, I'm healed. Yeah. But you have to speak the word. You have to speak the word. Amen. When you speak the word, you're going to liven up. Yes. John 10.10 10 says what? The thief. Yes. Some translation says Satan, the devil, mm -hmm. <laughs> whatever you want to call him. Mm -hmm. The thief cometh not but to do what? To steal, to kill, yeah, and to destroy. destroy. He says, I have come that you might have life and have it more, more abundantly. Life. You might have life more joyfully. Mm -hmm. Amen. Are you enjoying your life abundantly? Mm -hmm. If not, it's not God's problem. Right, right. The problem is here. Yeah. We have to fix it. When you see yourself in the mirror, I've got to fix him. Mm -hmm. I got to fix her. Mm -hmm. I got to speak the right things. I got to do the right things. I got to wa watch my words and my actions. Mm -hmm. And you got to confess the word over yourself, mm -hmm. over your family, over your household, mm -hmm. wherever you happen to be. He says he goes with you. He's in you. Mm -hmm. This body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. Remember, joy is Jesus owns you. <laughs> and he goes where you go. So you just say, well, you got to stay here now because I'm going somewhere I shouldn't be. He's going to go with you wherever you go. <laughs> mm -hmm. He says, I'm going, but I'm going to leave the Holy Ghost. I'm sending the Holy Ghost. Yes. So are you enjoying your life abundantly? If not, it's not God's problem. He wants us to enjoy in abundance. Yeah. Abundance, plenty, plenty, plenty. Yeah. <clears throat> know whose you are and know who you are in Him. You're His. Knowing helps, the truth helps. Yes. When you know these things, when you know the Word, it's going to help you. Because now I, want, I know what the Word says. This is what the world is saying. This is what people is labeling you and telling you. But I say, wait a minute. That's not what the word of God says about me. So you start seeing yourself and confessing what God says about you. See yourself the way he sees you. He sees you. We've talked about this. He sees you a winner. He sees you a champion. He sees you an overcomer. Mm -hmm. He sees you completing your mission. That's the way he sees you. He doesn't see trash. Right. God don't make trash. That's right. So quit calling yourself trash. Quit calling yourself a nobody. Quit calling yourself, well, I'm a nobody. Mm. If you feel lonely, mm. it's time for you to have a relationship yeah. and dial up uh. that number up in heaven and talk to him. Open that Bible and talk to him. Uh -huh. <laughs> Amen? Yes. All right. So relationship, commitment. Matthew 6, 33 says what? Seek ye first. first. The kingdom of God and this righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you. Uh -huh. So I got to get my priorities right. I have to do my thing. I have to get my priorities right. He's got his already done. Mm -hmm. He's completed his mission. He says, now I've called you to complete your mission. But I have to keep my priorities in order. If you don't keep your priorities in order, the world's going to see to it that you're all messed up. Yeah. Mixed up. And when you get all messed up, you're going to be all sad <laughs> and doom and gloom. And this is another thing we need, we're supposed to do is we're supposed to grow and mature spiritually. Nobody can see your spiritual side. Uh -huh. When you was born again, you was born spiritually, not physically. You were only born one time, physically. <laughs> spiritually. They don't see you change. Right. They see the same person. Yeah. But I had a spiritual birth. Uh -huh. Amen. And now I'm supposed to continue to grow in the uh -huh. things of God. Just like a baby, a physical baby. A baby grows into a man. I grew as a baby and now I'm a man. Mm -hmm. Or man or woman, whatever you happen to be. But you're going to grow. Yes. You don't want to stay a baby forever. 
You want to grow so you know the truth. The truth is going to set you free. Amen. And you get the word of God in you. Mm -hmm. So the truth will set you free. Uh, John 8, 8, 32. Mm -hmm. You write that down. John 8, 32. The truth will give you freedom from the world's system. Oh. There's a system in this world if you follow it. We're uh, supposed to obey the laws of the land, but still, we're, we're Christians. Yeah. And we obey him. We're in the world, but not of the world. Right. Amen. John 15, 19 says in the Living Bible, the world would love if you belong to it, but you, uh -huh. don't. you don't. For I choose you to come out of the world so that it hates you now. Mm -hmm. You are in the world, but not of this world. Yes. Amen. St. Corinthians 5.17, we know this very well. St. Corinthians 5.17, the Living Bible says, when someone becomes a Christian, he becomes a brand new person inside. Mm -hmm. Okay, so physically, they can't see your spiritual side. That's right. But they can see your physical side. Mm-hmm. He's not the same anymore. You're not the same anymore. You a new your new life has begun in Christ. You're born again. Spiritual birth. Forget the past. Yeah. <laughs> He's forgiven you. He's forgotten about it. You need to do the same thing. Mm -hmm. But your friends, your family, the enemy is yeah. going to use others to remind you of your oh, past. Yeah. And that happened 20, 50 years ago. Huh. And they're still bringing it up. Let it go. And don't be moved by what they say. Mm -hmm. I say, praise God, you're talking to the wrong person. I'm a new creature. I'm a new creature in Christ. Yeah. I'm a new person. I've changed addresses. Mm -hmm. <laughs> praise God. Amen. The love of the world is pushed out. Love for the Father floods in. Mm -hmm. We love him and grow in him. Yeah. And then it's going to come out in your words and yeah. your actions. Yeah. Things and distractions will rob you of your joy if you allow it to. Right, right. If you allow but there's going to be many things and many distractions and many giants. Mm -hmm. Many come and try to pull you away from it. Mm -hmm. But you keep your priorities in order and you'll yes. be fine. And you're not by yourself. You're not alone. That's right. Christ is always with you. Yes. So keeping your joy. Jesus says in John 10, 10 again in the Amplified Jesus says Satan comes to steal kill and destroy but he came that you might have and enjoy life and have it in abundance mm -hmm. to the full till it's overflow Amen. till it overflows yeah. read it in the Amplified that you might have and enjoy life uh -huh. if you're not enjoying life we need to check our priorities and yeah. we need to get them right. Yeah. But sometimes we gotta change companies. <laughs> when you change companies, when you change friends, I'll tell you this so many times, but I'll tell it to you again. I asked the Lord yeah. to help me with my enemies and I started losing friends. Uh -huh. Hello. <laughs> mm -hmm. And you know, when you lose those friends, don't go getting them back. <laughs> hey, I still love you, I pray for you. But Yeah. They're gone. Yeah. Let him go. He's going to bring new people to help you fulfill your destiny. Yes. To encourage you. Amen. To pray for you. Then go be there for you. Those are friends, yeah. you know, when you're up or down and they're still there for you. Now, come on. God wants us to enjoy every part of our lives, not just part of it yeah. or bits and pieces of it. Many people today live their lives in stress, confusion, and fear. Now, come on. You, can, you don't have to be doing that. Right. If it is, we, we got to change. Yes. We have to change. Yes. We got to open our Bibles, open the Word of God, and find out what it says. Yes. Well, I've been doing it wrong. Yeah, you have been doing it wrong. It, it's got nothing to do with Him. He's right. <laughs> We're wrong. We got to get a, lined up with the Word of God and get these priorities in order. Yeah. Come on. Let the joy yeah. of God come out of you. It's in there. Yes. 2 Timothy 1.7 says, For God has not given us what? A spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. Yes. When you get all this, you're going to be joyful. <laughs> I'm going to be joyful. As Christians, we don't have to live that way. Why? Joy is the result of knowing who we are and whose we are. 
Holy Spirit lives in us. Our bodies are the temple of the Holy Spirit. The fruit of the Spirit dwells in us. And one of the fruits of the Spirit is what? Joy. joy. Love. Joy. Uh -huh. Amen. Let's go here. Let's, yeah. Of course, it uh, depends on uh, what translation you have. Uh, it's Ephesians. <clears throat> oh, I'm in the wrong chapter. Did you say Ephesians? I'm asking you. <laughs> hmm? I don't think so. What's that? Galatians, isn't it? Hmm? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Galatians. God, electric power company. <laughs> Galatians 5, 4. Galatians, let's go. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Uh, 22, I think it is. Uh, okay, here we go. Open your Bibles to Galatians chapter 5. Mm -hmm. And verses, start off with verse uh, 22. Yes. It says, but the fruit of the Spirit is what? Love, joy, peace, peace long-suffering, Gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, verse 23 says, meekness, temperance, against such there is no law. No law. Write it, highlight it, yeah. and know these are the fruits of the Spirit, and the Holy Spirit dwells in us. Amen. Yes. Praise God. And these are things that we need to <laughs> get up, and we need to develop some of these things and yes. grow into some of these things, because it's not just going to jump up and take you. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. Yeah. we got to let the Word of God work up in us. Amen. Yes. We got to work these things. <laughs> I've got it right here. Galatians in the New Century Version says this. Galatians 5 22 and 23. But the fruit produces the fruit of love. Uh -huh. Joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, and faithfulness. Verse 23. Gentleness, self-control. There is no law mm -hmm. that says these things are wrong. Right. Joy is not just a happy feeling. <laughs> Based on our circumstances and our things we possess. It is an unshakable st stability in our inner man, our spirit. Yes. It is joy that ranges from a calm joy to an extreme yes. joy. <laughs> Amen. You know, you let granny get rid of some, get full of that, some of that rheumatiz medicine. <laughs> and she starts singing, I've got the joy, joy, joy. <laughs> we, we get so drunk in, 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 in the Holy Spirit, you know, we're going to let that joy just get extreme yes. in us. Amen. Sometimes we need to do this. I've been watching some of the uh, college and, uh, and, and football and football uh, games, and then people get crazy. They start just jumping. They start doing things. They dress weird and, and do all kinds of things. But they get extremely joyful. Yes. We have to get extreme. Why can't we get extremely joyful right. for our God? Amen. Man, that's 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 awesome. Yes. Again, Nehemiah ten says. For the joy of the Lord is your strength. And most people spend most of their time uptight and upset because yeah. their joy and their happiness is based entirely on circumstances. Right, right. Wrong job, wrong career, mm -hmm. wrong relationships, yeah. wrong friends, yeah. wrong, 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 wrong. <laughs> when all these things happen, you're going to be doom and gloom. Mm -hmm. And that's all you hear right now is, yeah. you know, doom and gloom. You turn the news on, that's all that you hear. Yeah, yeah. So, just let the Lord, the joy of the Lord be your strength. Amen. Amen. Have relationship. People get happy and joyful when? Yeah. When things uh, going are going their way. Mm -hmm. <laughs> when they have lots of money in the bank. Oh, yeah. <laughs> when it's uh, Friday, people yeah. get so joyful. They're like, God, it's Friday. That's the only time to mention God. <laughs> Holidays, vacation time. Or just time off. Yeah, I'm oh. so happy because I'm so joyful because it's my time off. Yeah. These things account for only a small part of our lives. Yes. The majority of the time people are sad, discouraged, and upset. Yes. Yeah. You know, people will come up come up to you and, mm -hmm. and they're gonna see your words, your actions says a whole lot. Mm -hmm. You know why I came up to you? Because no matter what's going on, no matter what's happening, mm -hmm. I always see you smile. 
I always see joy mm -hmm. in you. They want to know why is this? Mm -hmm. And you got to tell them. Yeah. Once they ask you, mm -hmm. you have to come back and tell them and let them know it's because of Jesus. Yeah. I had Jesus in my life. Jesus is my first priority. Yeah. Jesus is my strength. Yes. On a daily basis. Amen. And now I know, well, I want some of Jesus. I want Jesus. Mm -hmm. Well, good. They can have Jesus. Mm -hmm. And you just lead them to Christ right then. Amen. Mm -hmm. As we grow spiritually and our relationship with God grows, we grow in his word. And it sets us free from whatever bondages, whatever yes. distractions are there. Yes. We got to start to get, we start confessing the right things, saying the right things and doing the right things. Mm -hmm. We're free from this uh, world and the negative mindsets and traditions. <laughs> yes. Okay. Mindsets and traditions. Mm -hmm. We were brought up this way. Mm -hmm. You're supposed to be like this. You're supposed to do it this way. Mm. Let's do it God's way. Yes. Amen. And you know what? You might lose friends. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you might lose family. Mm. But still, I'm going to do it God's way mm -hmm. and not the way you want me to do it. That's right. Amen. Thank you, Lord. All right. Praise God. Magnify Him and not the problems. Mm -hmm. Change priorities. Yes. Him first. I can do all things through Christ. All things. I can do all things through yeah. Him. We're still magnifying Him. Yes. We are joyful even in, if things are not going our way. We're joyful instead of weary, mm -hmm. worn out by our moods. Mm -hmm. We're joyful even if it's raining or snowing out there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever circumstance happens to be, we're mm -hmm. still joyful because mm -hmm. He is your joy. Amen. So, just a few steps uh, in keeping our joy. Of course, uh, Nehemiah 10 says, "Let let uh, the joy of the Lord is your strength." Joy is the result of knowing who we are and whose we are. Mm -hmm. Leviticus 11:45 in the New King James says, "I, the Lord, brought you out of Egypt oh. so that you could be my special people." And I could be your God. Mm -hmm. I am holy. So you must be holy too. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Mm -hmm. This is awesome. Yes it is. This is the word of God. Well, I never saw it that way. I never heard it that way. Well you never opened the word of God before. Mm -hmm. You always let somebody read it for you. Yeah. Or you let somebody else tell you. Mm -hmm. And misinterpret it for you. Yeah. You read it for yourself. Yeah. And ask him to interpret it for you. Mm -hmm. So that you can know the truth. That's what's going to set you free from all the traditions. Mm -hmm. From all the mindsets. They heard how God chose them. Loved them and delivered them from slavery. Mm -hmm. It was God that brought me through. You know some of us have some awesome testimonies. Mm -hmm. And God wants you to use that testimony. At the right time. Mm -hmm. And he'll, he'll let you know. But he brought you through. And there's people in bondage right now. People captive right now. People are upset right now. Going through these same things yeah. that you went through. He says, you know what? It's time for you to let them know mm -hmm. that you've been through this. Mm -hmm. And God delivered you. Yes. And he wants to deliver them as well. That's right. It's time to share. You have an awesome testimony. Don't hide your testimony. Hey, I've been to prison. Hey, I've been this. I've been that. I've done this. But God saw me through. God brought me out. What brought you out? It was only through him yes. that I was able to escape and get away from this. Amen. Delivered from this. Amen. Yes. Come on now. <laughs> they learned that he gave them the promised land. They learned that their purpose was as a people. They learned what their purpose as a people of God is or was. Amen. Yes. Psalms 38. <coughs> Verse 30, uh, chapter 30 and verse 5 says, For his anger is not but for a moment. Uh -huh. His favor is for life. Weeping may endure for a night, mm -hmm. but joy comes in the morning. Yes. Amen. Yeah. Uh -huh. Joy comes in the morning. Yes. This is the day the Lord has made. Yeah. We shall rejoice. Let joy re rejoice and be glad in it. Right? Thank you, Lord. <clears throat> they begin to understand that they too can be led by the Spirit of God. Yeah. Keep your joy by allowing the Holy Spirit to lead and guide us in the way we should go. Yeah. 
Lord, take, lead me and guide me with your Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, have your way in my life. He's going to take you. Yeah. He's going to take you and guide you. Let's go to Psalms. Uh, let's no, it's uh, <clears throat> Proverbs 3 and 5. Proverbs 3 and 5. I have Proverbs 3 and 5. Chapter 3, verses uh, 5 and 6. Uh, Are you there? It says, I trust in the Lord, trust in the Lord with all thine heart, and lean not in own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy path. Yeah. Proverbs chapter 3, verses uh, 5 and 6. Yeah. 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 He will direct my path. Amen. Praise yeah. God. Thank you, Lord. Whew. That was a freebie. Thank you, Lord. Proverbs 6 and 9 says, People can pl uh, plan what they want to do, but yeah. it is the Lord who guides who guides and directs their steps. Yeah. If we do the same thing, the same thing will happen to us. Amen. He's going to guide us and direct us. Follow the Holy Spirit and he'll keep everything fresh. Life does not get old or stale when we follow him. Life is not born if we're led by the Holy Spirit. Hmm. He gave us the Holy Spirit for a reason. And he's to direct us and guide us. Amen. Too many people complain about how boring that life is. Hmm. They need to check their priorities. They lose their love for God. Open the doors to the enemy or other things, other distractions. Get back in relationship with God. Life is not boring. That's right. Our priorities slip. Yeah. Keep going back to priorities. Proverbs we have to make a nine. change. Huh? Did you say Proverbs 6 and 9? Yes. Proverbs six, once, uh, 16 and 9. 16 and 9. Uh, I read it from the easy to read version. Okay. Proverbs chapter 16 and verse 9. Okay. People can plan what they want to do, but it is the Lord who guides, directs their steps. So we need to simplify our lives. Learn to, uh, don't try to do too much. Yeah. Uncomplicate your life. Yeah. You know, we could be too busy for God. Yeah. Uh, remember uh, when Jesus was in Mary and Martha's house? Yeah. And they, uh, you know, Mary saw and saw, saw, saw the Lord and she came to minister to him. And sir, Martha is so busy mm -hmm. and she gets mad because she's doing, sir, you know, ministering to Jesus and she gets mad and she comes saying, hey, you know, set her right and yeah. have her come and help me. We get too busy. <laughs> we miss God. Mm -hmm. So let's not get too busy that we miss him. Amen. Don't be like the Martha's. Be more like the Mary. Yes. Amen. <laughs> Keep uh, us too busy to enjoy all God has given us, just like Mary and Martha thing. Uh -huh. Enjoy your relationship with him. Enjoy time with family and friends. Yeah. Take time to laugh and crack a smile sometimes. <laughs> and some of us need to <laughs> get rid of our frowns. You know, yeah. if we were to smile, we might crack our face off. <laughs> it's time to enjoy mm -hmm. life. And you're going to enjoy life more when you know who you are. Yes. And you know who your God is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Praise God. When you know the word, you're going to pray the yes. word in boldness. Yes. John 16, 24 says in the Amplified, until you know, until you have not asked the Lord for anything in my name, but says, now ask and keep on asking and you will receive so that your joy may be full and complete. Mm. Let's go to that one. Mm. John 16. Book of John, chapter 16. Yes. And verse 24. I read it out the Amplified. It says, Up to this time you have not asked a single thing in my name, or as presenting in all that I am. But now ask and keep on asking, and you will receive so that your joy, your gladness, your delight may be full and complete. Yes. Yeah. 
Amen. When you know who you are, mm -hmm. you can ask him with boldness. Mm -hmm. Come to the throne with boldness. Mm -hmm. You just don't come in with fear and right. not knowing nothing. Right. <laughs> but you come in with boldness and ask what you need in Jesus' name. He says he'll supply all of all your needs. needs. Amen. Mm -hmm. Praise God. Yeah. I believe there are people who are not receiving because God, because they won't ask boldly uh -huh. or with confidence. Yes. So I'm too shy. I, I, you know, I'm so fearful. Mm. I, I just don't want to go. I don't want to ask. Well, you have to. Mm -hmm. You have to put the words to action. Yes. And you got to say it. Hebrews 4.16 mm -hmm. and uh, New Living Translation says, So let us come boldly to the throne of, uh, of our gracious God. Yes. They will be, they will receive it and they will receive his mercies and we will find grace to help us when we need it most. Mm -hmm. Amen. Let's go here. Hebrews. Look at Hebrews. Chapter 4. Let me read it from another translation. Look at Hebrews chapter 4. And verse 16. It says... <clears throat> Let us therefore come boldly unto the throne of grace, yes. that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need. Yes, He is always there yes, he to is. help us. He, ne he says He never leaves us nor forsakes us. Many Christians feel as if they need to clean themselves before mm -hmm. they come to God in prayer. Mm -hmm. You just come to Him. Yes. He loves you just the way you are. Yeah. But a righteousness in God alone and no amount of good, uh, good works will make us right with God. Right. He's already paid the price. He sacrificed his son so that we can come boldly to yes. him. Amen. Amen. Be bold and confident in God when you pray. Don't be double-minded mm -hmm. when you ask for his blessings. Mm -hmm. Just ask for what you need boldly and in faith without wavering, hesitating, or doubting, knowing that your righteousness is in Christ. Yes. Your righteousness is in Christ. Mm -hmm. So be quick to forgive. The joy is restored in your life when you learn how to forgive and forget. And these two virtues go together. Amen. We're not going to try to read or, uh, give you all this. We'll continue next week and uh, we'll finish this. But uh, we should be quick to forgive also. Amen. People do us wrong. We do wrong. But we need to be quick to forgive. Mm -hmm. For God forgave us. Mm -hmm. and yes, he, he forgives us and He forgets. Yes. And we need to do the same thing. We need to forgive and forget. Yeah. So, in closing, for now, yeah. remembering that the abundant life Jesus died to give you is yes. based on a decision you make. Yes. Not on your circumstances. The yes. joy of the Lord is your strength. He says, John 10, 10, again, the thief cometh in order to steal, kill, destroy. I come that you might have, uh, that you might have and enjoy life and have it abundance in abundance to the full till it overflows. Yes. Joy is God's gift to us. But some of us never even open the package. Uh -huh. <laughs> come on now. Amen. Now I'll read it. You can write that down. Joy is a gift God gave us. Some of us never even opened the package. Yes. He's given us lots of gifts that we never opened. He's given us his word. Yes. And we never opened it. You know? He's put gifts in us. He's, he's, he... Yes. That's good. One day we're going to stand before him. Mm -hmm. And he's going to ask us, why didn't you use what I gave you? Mm -hmm. He gave us things. And we're not even using them. It's not his fault. It's our fault. How do I find out? Well, you go to him and spend time with him. It's called relationship. Spend time with him. He'll show you. He'll tell you what those gifts are and what you are called to do. Instead of getting in front of him too late and saying, you never did what I told you to do. You never used or used the gifts I gave you. Why? And you don't want to hear it. The worst thing you can hear is, depart from me. I never knew you. So it's time to get it right now. <laughs> yes. And quit being shy. Mm -hmm. Don't think I can't do. Right. 
I am a can-do person. We found out last week. I'm a can-do person. Yes. Because the Bible says I can do all things through Christ things. who strengthens me. That's right. But I need to be with Him. And yeah. i got to stay connected to Him. Yeah. If we stay connected to Him, we can't go wrong. Mm -hmm. And we got to keep ourselves up and up in mm -hmm. the Word. we got to keep ourselves hungry for the Word. we got to keep ourselves uh, committed to Him yeah. and hungry for Him and more for Him so that we can be overflowing. Mm -hmm. When you're overflowing, you can bless anybody and everybody. But don't allow yourself to get empty. Right. Leaky Christians get empty and they start saying, <laughs> confessing negative things. Yeah. Bad things. Yeah. So we got to stay, you know, deal with the Father so He can fill them cracks up. Yes. And leak no more. <laughs> and start confessing the right things. Start confessing yes. the Word. Amen. And being positive and lively things will happen to you. Amen. Yes. So praise God. Have a blessed day. Father, we thank you for your precious word today. That the joy of the Lord is our strength, Father. Yes. And there's a lot of people out there that need your strength right now, yes. Father. Yes. Bless them, Lord. Touch them, Lord. Let this word, Father, yes. bless us and help us today to start living and enjoying this life you have given us. Yes. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Praise bless God. me. I don't know about you. Yes. God. So praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. You know, some of you may need a touch of God right now. May need a touch of healing right now. All you need to do is ask Him. Yes. The Bible says, and by Jesus' stripes, you are healed. Healed. Mm -hmm. And He's no uh, respecter, of persons. respecter of persons. He's not going to oversee you and do somebody else. Mm -hmm. He's going to see you because He sees you the way yes. He makes you. Yes. And sickness is not for this temple. That's right. It's not for this temple, this body. Amen. So we don't allow sickness in this body. So I speak to that sickness to go in mm -hmm. Jesus' name. And whatever you need, whatever touch you need of healing in your body, we just speak it right now. Mm -hmm. And we thank you, Lord Jesus. By Jesus stripes, they are healed right now. From the crown of the head to the soles of their feet. Yes. And we rebuke the sickness to go and leave now in Jesus' yes. name. Amen. So receive your healing. Amen. Yeah. You got to receive this gift. He's given us a gift of healing, so you got to receive yes. it. So praise God. Amen. For those of you that are giving, are watching, or listening, it's time to give. Your tithes or your offerings, you can still do that. All you need to do is go to our website, nbcbigben.com, and hit that donate button. Amen. And if you're mailing it, NBC PO Box 252, Marfa, Texas, 79843. Amen. And we thank you, and God bless you. Remember, the joy of the Lord is your strength. Amen. Amen. Praise God.